All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elden Ring. I've been making my way along this road, but it seems there's some kind of ghostly horseman blocking the path. And he sees me now. Well, you're quick. Very quick, my dude. Why are you ringing that bell? Did he die or just his mount? No, he's been taken down. What do you have? What are you trying to give me? Grave violet. We joined a group of new companions at a location called the Volcano Manor in the last episode. Turns out these guys are giving us assassination contracts, though, where we have been hunting individuals throughout the world of Elden Ring. Actually, we've only done it one time. But there was another one very close by to the Volcano Manor, and I thought we would start today's off with an assassination. Because <laughs> why not? Uh, that's totally normal. Totally normal way to start an episode. So, here's the guy. Well, he didn't waste any time, did he? Zooming in with a crossbow as well. Some kind of crossbow staff. I've never even seen that before. However, he's not picking his openings very well. That's his one heal. We'll let him do it. You firing that at me? Ooh, and the bleed out. The host has been vanquished. We have killed another target. And we can return back to the manor victorious. Another task has been completed, my lady, and I still haven't even gotten whatever was left for me upstairs. I see you've performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. Please, take it. So for each one of these target, <gasps> the serpentine bone blade. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor, Lord Rikard. The Erd Tree blessed the Tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The Tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs, like the Shardbearers vying for power in the wake of the Shattering. Our Lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the Erd Tree and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. Really? The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. If I keep it following it? come a day too soon. That's awesome. Hey, thanks for letting me join your group. You guys seem really nice. You're just trying to make the world a better place. I see that. It's clear as day. follow this heroic path, The Lord will see come. me. So now that I've taken down that assassination target, is there... Another one. This one is a red letter. Where's its location? Where are you taking me? Written request from Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnish to be hunted as the final request. This letter is vivid red. Juno Hoslo, Knight of Blood. It can be found in the mountaintops of the giants. Find the red mark on your map. That's what you do. Thanks, man. To find his locate. Oh! Well, how am I supposed to get over there? I, uh... Oh. Well, I, I don't think I'm going to be meeting the guy in charge anytime soon then. Hey, this dude disappeared. This dude in the hallway is gone. Well, last episode they told me to go upstairs... Hey, Stormblast, thank you so much for your Twitch Prime and the seven months of support. I appreciate you. Why don't we uh, head upstairs and see what they see, see what all the fuss was about. And I will show that weapon that we just picked up. We got the Serpent Blade. E scaling for strength, C for dex. Does cause, uh, cause poison buildup. Does cause that. Damage doesn't seem 
great. It is uh, classified as a katana, though, which is kind of interesting. Oh, look at that spine. That's some serious stuff. That'll eat you alive. No, thank you. And it does poison buildup. I believe it's the only weapon we've ever come across that does any form of poison buildup. It seems like a considerable amount. 66. Sinister katana modeled after a serpent bone. The densely packed row of spines that jut away from the cutting edge are coated with a lethal poison. It also has a weapon art of a double slash. And I believe, yeah, we can use this weapon to its full effectiveness already. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot attack here to demo the ability. Uh, I can attack here, though. So two quick swings to get that poison stacked up. And if we use this weapon, we could use this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey, what? Wait, did she tell me my reward's upstairs and it's just a dude that wants to kill me? Give me a second. You stay over there. You try to figure out this table. I believe in you. You'll get it. Whoa, what is that? Oh my god, and if you follow up the weapon art with another one, it just keeps it going. Well, well, well. <laughs> Do you think the invader can drink? You better back up. That is the slowest weapon I've ever seen. Oh, that might be why. Not today, you won't. The Giza wheel. We got his weapon. So that wasn't planned, right? They they didn't they didn't send someone to kill me, right? My new family. They wouldn't do that, would they? We do know that there's a little bit more to this place than just the NPCs here. It seems the Volcano Manor itself is a huge structure on the side of a castle. And we've seen very, very little of it. So I think for now, we'll just explore. Check things out at our own pace. See where it takes us. I'm really curious to see what this place has in store for us. I really like the architecture and stuff in here so far. I think it looks it looks really sweet. Uh, however, do I have to go through all of those secret tunnels to get back outside? No, I had a teleport, didn't I? We had a teleport right here at the prison town church. And I believe this was kind of overlooking all of the different branching paths from here. Now, if the Lord is the leader of this covenant, is he kind of the big bad boss? Because I I wouldn't want to fight him, right? Whoa. I I probably want to stay on his good side. Looks like there might be a way to raise this bridge in the future. Oh my god, look at all the hanging bodies underneath it. Well, I guess just hanging boxes, presumably with bodies in them. Oh, hey! You really stretched out there. I wonder how fast bleed buildup is on normal enemies. Kind of getting some FPS trouble down here. Still no bleed. Oh god, wait, no, no, you, you poisoned me that fast? Oh, no, no! All right, you little shit. I'm doing it. I'm do Maybe he's immune to poison. I think I said bleed build up earlier. 
Oh, oh, and I, oh, so you guys are just, you guys are just the normal enemy around here. Okay, we'll treat you with a little more respect. I thought you were just kind of a one weird dude looking off into the distance. We'll put on the real weapon again. All right, big man, sit back down. Ooh, he was quick. Backstab, what? Seven hundred souls for taking him down too. Jeez. These guys are gonna level us up. Don't move. Got him. Well, wait, are those gargoyle statues there? I don't have a good feeling about that. Well, it looks like we should probably check out this lower area first. A lot of the rooftops seem to be kind of... Uh-oh. Ushering me that way. Didn't actually mean to take that big of a fall. There's items kind of littered behind a lot of different things here. And this dude's throwing poison bombs at us. So let's make sure we don't stop and give him an easy target. Can we mount here? We cannot. So that jump... Oh, shit. Wasn't doable. Oh, that's mighty creepy. Oh, that's super creepy. That's super creepy. This just looks like a, a ter totally normal room. The urge, the urge tree seal. Okay, I'm just gonna try to push down any path I can find, really. We've already checked out this corner. That's feeling good. Let's check out the other side of the street. Most of these doors are totally chained up. Totally inaccessible. Whoever that was in the middle. Oh my God. Is he at the corner? Where is he? Oh, jeez, dude. You hit so crazy hard. Okay, we gotta get rid of this poison guy. And maybe a little bit of this fire too. Now we go in. No, we don't. Oh. oh. That guy reminds me, what's that? Oh, the purge. Where everyone just walks around the streets in masks and they commit any crime for one night a year, you know what I'm talking about? That guy reminds me of a purge dude just wearing that creepy mask like that and just going out. Just going all off offensive. Well, that was a little bit better. We are going to need to make our way back down there to find our souls, but there might be more than one path that leads down. Oh, a co-op item there. Maybe that's a clue. <laughs> Game's trying to tell me that I need help already. Ah! No! Oh! Fuck, 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 fuck! It's charging again, it's charging again! Hey, this way, this way, come on! Yeah, you're doing great! If we could change our elevation, we could probably just totally avoid that thing. That's probably best for me. These things are terrifying. And it does seem like the roofs kind of jet across to a central location there. Okay, we just gotta be quick. We just gotta be real quick. Alright, now I'm gonna follow this rooftop bridge along to this... <laughs> Oh, along to this fucking death hole right here. Yeah. Shit. Oh, man. That guy's a fucking monster. That guy is terrifying.
Ooh, weapon art kills him. Well, we don't have to go down to that guy again anymore. I don't have any souls there. Oh, God. That just happened so fast. And my movable weapon art is, is proving to be a little bit more of a detriment here than I was expecting. That was pretty clean. So this is just the other side of the wall where that dude is. We haven't even really gone that far. And on the wall here... Oh my god, that's a whole road. On the wall here... We can use one of our... Stone sword keys. And sh oh my god. No. Is it awake? What's happening? Hey. Be wary of pickle. Oh, now it's awake. Can it? It can't attack up here, right? Were you guys all in here to protect one item? Crimson Amber Medallion plus one. I believe. Obviously, I haven't checked yet. I believe that's a health increase. Wow, that poison does consistent taking damage. That's gnarly. Like being in the gas cloud was hurting me. I wasn't expecting that. Like, if I was already poisoned, I was expecting to just walk out of there. All right, you big thing, I'm coming down. Hey, you left the building. Is that allowed? Surprised we haven't gotten a stagger yet. This is a different attack. No, it's not. One more time. One more time. Oh, fuck. No. Bull bullshit. Bro, bullshit. How far away was I? I just did my weapon art, so I was at least two to three weapon links away there and they just pull me in all right just give me my souls we'll call it even asshole you think about what you did <laughs> hey sword guy you you keeping me out of here you're pretty scary looking The neck, like the snake body with just extra limbs is... Oh my god, he does so much damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Wait, what am I looking at here? Hold on, one problem at a time. Oh no, can someone not make it around the corner? Does someone have weird little snake arms? Oh, no. Well, he was very clearly protecting this door, but that cannot be open from this side. Looks like there's two secret paths around. Okay. I want to check this out first. Because I want to see what it, whatever this is. Oh, it's an old... It's an old machine that's all rusted and decrepit. Oh, I'm sick of being fucking picked up by every enemy here! Alright, you bucket of bolts, you're not coming to life right now. And that looks like a pretty far drop down. Okay, let's check the other path then. While this poison slowly eats away at me, there is a ladder up here on the left that I didn't see. And I noticed out of this building some like wooden scaffolding. 
we might be able to use that to navigate around this area a little bit. And if we're super lucky, is one of these bars just going to be missing? This is how you open the door. Now, what's in here? <laughs> they don't seem very happy with me. Wait, you guys are actually tied to the ground? You guys are prisoners. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. All right, maybe I will rethink my not killing captured prisoners outlook I had here. Someone fell from the sky, but they're in the same kind of restricted entrapment. We only have two Estus left, and we have not gone a very long way. These dudes at the bottom are the same as this one chasing me. They don't have much health. Two swings. There's a lot more in here, too. I see one on the left already. Probably should have killed that just to leech some HP. Like, backstabbed it. Let's see if I can. Maybe not. Their orientation's a little weird. I didn't see what that item was. I was too fixated on the enemies. Speaking of which... <laughs> Sorry, bud. It's almost like they tied that guy up there to be an alarm. You know what I mean? Like he'll just scream when someone comes around that corner. Come back. Fuck! Lucky. Should have died there. Should have died there. Still probably could. See a big weapon sticking through the door? This way leads back outside, just like the other path. And out here on the balcony, we find an explosive great bolt overlooking the main magma of the volcano. It's last heal. Try target lock. For slugs? I don't suppose there's a grace nearby anywhere. Would that be too convenient? No, 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 no. Chill out, chill out. We cannot call torrent here. We're going to have to stick to only areas that we can actually jump over. Okay. Of course the snails have a ranged attack. Shit. Please tell me there's a grace nearby. Oh, no. Is this an elevator? Wait a minute. Oh, he's looking for me. I'm just gonna leave. We'll just commit. We'll just fucking commit. Um. Damn. I was really hoping for some sanctuary somewhere. Hidden path ahead. Why do I doubt? Hmm. Not here! Not here! I can beat this guy, but not right fucking now I can't. 
Wait, didn't I kill him? He was D.E.D., -E -D, bro. All right, so a, a magma dragon lives in the basement. Well, great. Nope, 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 nope. Not gonna let you. Oh. I had a big ass whip. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Bro. Wait, we're on the other side of the bridge. Okay. You want to hear some big footsteps? Somber smoothing stone plus fives. I think we need a seven for our next upgrade. All right, well, here goes. Is he gonna shoot a spell? What is he doing? No, he's just coming towards me. Great. Why didn't you just let me backstab you? I guess he kind of did. I just didn't take it. All right, shithead. Round two. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no. The bleed buildup. That's how I get you. Black flame monk armor. That actually looks sick. And that looks terrifying. Okay, let's ignore that for a second. This bridge should... Oh, cutscene and everything. How long do you think that would take to cool down? Like, it kind of looks like it's fine already, but I'm saying in real life, if, if metal managed to be submerged inside of fucking magma, I would imagine it would last a while. So this loops all the way around back to the grace that we were just starting at. So this is potentially a huge, 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 huge shortcut for us. Chat was saying that I did miss a grace somewhere along this long ass path that I took, but I'm not exactly sure uh, where it was. So that's something we can poke around and explore for more in the future. But this seems like a great addition and over my head, look what I'm spotting. A little bit of boss fog. So. See, you guys like red. Could this be a strong foe? Oh. Well, that's not what I was expecting. You're rather large. A Gonskin Noble. Uh, uses a piercing weapon. As well as some... 
fireballs that they're throwing out. Looks like they don't get staggered super easily. Let's see weapon art. I didn't seem that bad. Being able to put a target behind a pillar is super helpful for just moving around in general. Woo, that was close, Jesus! Two guards there. Uh, that was a butt slam? That was a belly slam? Wait, what? What? The fuck was that? Oh. I got hit by one combo and it killed me. Did you see how fast that combo was too? Oh, you're just a snake creature in disguise. Damn, dude. I don't know when I'm supposed to get hits in here. That's the big one. Fuck, dude. So potentially the rollout thing only happens at 50 HP. Maybe that's like a uh, indicative of a phase change. That's the phase change right there. It's when he does that slam. <laughs> Whoa, that's getting a little hectic. What? I was a fucking mile away from him. Do you just have to jump there? Here's one. Second. Roll in. <gasps> Huge! Big fucking damage! He's gonna power up. We get away. Now we go back in. Big heal, big heal, big heal, big heal. Weapon art! Didn't connect. Now. Shit. Didn't get. Ah, ah, what the fuck? Throw, throw a fireball, my dude. I'm ready for it. I'll go right under it. Thank you. Good opening damage. Keep it up. Nice. Beautiful start. We'll let him go into his second phase. We're gonna back him right up to these pillars. Come on in, bud. That wasn't worth. And now he's about to kill me. Whoa! Huge. Skin striker. That was a good. We 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 made that look pretty pretty clean actually. I think. Uh, Godskin striker. That's what it was called, right? I already forgot the picture of it. it. Looks like it might be a rapier, a thrusting sword, elegant piercing sword, with a cel celadon colored blade wielded by godskin nobles the nobles possess skills with the sword unmatched by any lowborn despite its size successive attacks from this weapon are swifter than the eye can follow well 
We know that firsthand because he kept killing me with it. We do find a place to rest and an item on a tomb, potentially, in front of us. The Serpent's a Minion. Damn. Let's take a look at the weapon. I want to see it. Bro. Look at the reach on this. That's the heavy attack? This is the weapon art. We uh, probably can't show it to its full effectiveness. Actually, can I wield this weapon? I can wield this weapon. It's a big thrust. I wonder if you could do a heavy. Eh, it's a lot of pause. It actually looks like it's way better when the boss is using this weapon. <laughs> it's faster than the eye can possibly see. That's nice. That's a good attack right there. Straight jump back into a pierce. That's really solid. That's a very fast follow up too. Upward attack for the roll is kind of awkward. You're not going to get anywhere near as much reach with that. What's its scale? Double D's. Yeah, I don't think I would use this. It does have a... No, actually it doesn't. I was going to say it does have high critical hit damage, but it's actually standard damage. That's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We beat the boss. And I don't think we've even seen a fifth of what this place has to offer. <laughs> <laughs>